often the debate comes up, who was the best and who was the worst president of the United States? Many people have their opinions, and there were many methods by which to gauge those responses. However, when it came to subterfuge, lying, intimidation, hypocrisy, bigotry, fraud, and possibly murder, few can touch President Lyndon Baines Johnson. In 1937, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives as a Democrat. Johnson reported for active duty in December 1941 and served in the U.S. Navy as a lieutenant commander until all members of Congress in the military were recalled to Washington in the summer of 1942. Lieutenant Commander Johnson, U.S. Naval Reserve, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives, temporarily served in the Navy, and he received the nation's third highest combat decoration while on a 1942 fact-finding mission aboard the B-26 medium bomber, the Heckling Hare, to take photographs. However, the citation for his Silver Star and rationale for his getting the award are in great controversy because he was never even in active combat. Johnson's biographer, Robert Cairo, in his book, stated that Johnson wore the Silver Star pin on the lapels of his suit jackets for the rest of his life. Cairo's book, Means of Ascent, takes umbrage at Johnson's receiving the medal for spending a few minutes under fire. But even that description overstates the case. The fact is, LBJ never got within sight of Japanese forces. His combat experience was a myth. But Johnson had problems closer to home. He had a sister, Josepha Johnson, who hated him and their entire family. Well, this is how the story goes from his biographers and independent investigators. Josepha, who was divorced twice, became a prostitute and drug addict which risked to destroy the family's name and their credibility in federal and state politics and in Texas. She also had affairs with LBJ's associates, Jim Kinzer and Mac Wallace, who was also known as Johnson's hitman. Kinzer wanted LBJ to loan him money via his sister, and LBJ considered it a shakedown, a blackmail attempt, as Josepha had apparently told Kinzer about her brother's illegal activities. On October 22, 1951, Wallace shot Kinzer, which only helped Johnson in keeping Kinzer quiet. Wallace was arrested and charged with murder, but was released on bail after Edward Clark arranged for two of Johnson's financial supporters, M.E. Ruby and Bill Carroll, to post the bond for Wallace. Johnson's personal attorney, John Cofer, also agreed to represent Wallace. If you enjoyed this clip and want to see the full episode version, Click here and it will take you to it. And as usual, if you like the video, subscribe, like, share, send us comments. And if you wish to really help us offset cost of production, please go to our Patreon page and become a member. And we do appreciate it. Thank you.